by jumping into the Islamic economic overview of Nigeria. You, many of you know, as many of you may know, Nigeria is the most populous uh, country in Africa with a population nearing 200 million and going at 3% variable. Um, oil and gas for the economy. Uh, the GDP was about uh, $500 million in 2014. Uh, and the annual GDP also increased to uh, nearly 7% uh, in 2014. Services contributed 57%. Uh, Manufacturing 21, agriculture that used to be the the you know, stronghold of the economy um, have been neglected over the years, and it's now contributing about 22 uh, percent uh, to the GDP, and also contributing uh, about 70 percent of the uh, um, country's employment. <laughs> But most of the agricultural activity is there. It's about 80% uh, subsistence based. In 2015, Nigeria faced this challenge with a, a foreign exchange, a foreign exchange supply due to a dwindling economy of the, the global drop in oil prices uh, that affected the supply of forest and most agribusinesses could not uh, find uh, the forest to for fund uh, their import purchases, especially for raw materials. Um, then Nigeria introduced this measure to conserve uh, forests. Uh, that one of the measures uh, included the barrier of about 41 items from assessing uh, forest uh, through the official sources. Official source, sorry. A number of food and agricultural items were affected. Rice, my dream, palm oil, meat, vegetables, and a number of them, poultry, chicken, sorry, uh, poultry, and rest of them, fish. That posed a serious challenge, a serious constraint to the um, a business environment, a lot of uncertainties. Um, however, during the first quarter of 2000 of this year, 2017, uh, Nigeria re re revised uh, its uh, forest uh, policy, and that uh, uh, translated to improving the supply of forest. So a number of those agribusinesses, other businesses that were lacking uh, forest to uh, conduct their businesses were uh, are beginning to have, have uh, access to forest and that is helping uh, to stimulate uh, or has helped to stimulate the economy uh, by about 25% uh, within the last uh, four to six months. And Nigeria, when the challenge, when the forest challenge was there, eventually entered into, into recession. But about uh, two weeks ago, uh, it was officially announced that Nigeria is out of that recession. Nigeria's food and agricultural trade. Uh, overall, Nigeria is a food deficient con um, country, and uh, imports and agriculture, food and agriculture imports, uh, is uh, estimated at more than ten billion dollars in 2015. Wheat, rice, brown sugar, frozen fish, dairy products, vegetable oil, and consumer oriented uh, items were. Uh, are uh, some of the major or largest imports. 
and by continent, uh, Nigeria imports from Asia about 40%, the EU about 31%, Americas including the US 15, South Africa uh, 6%, mm, the remaining from other parts of the world. In 2016, the uh, Nigeria launched a four-year import substitution uh, policy called the Agricultural Promotion Policy, APP, that is planned to prioritize on improving agricultural product productivity of the following of some uh, domestically uh, grown agricultural products such as rice, wheat, corn, fish, dairy milk, soybean, poultry, etc., including sugar cane. Okay? Under the policy, a lot of um, a partnership with the private sector was uh, to be intensified. However, this policy has been challenged by Nigeria's lack of infrastructure as well as uh, poor policy implementation. The U.S.-Nigeria cultural trade in 2016, about 700 and, uh, um, Nigeria imported food and agricultural products worth about $750 million. And the major imports are major U.S. exports, major imports, Nigeria import, or major U.S. exports, Nigeria, included uh, wheat, soybean, oil, animal fat, uh, feed and fodders, beverage basis, consumer-oriented food, non beverage, uh, ethanol, frozen fish, etc., and wheat, with wheat accounting for about 70% uh, of the of Nigeria's imports from the U.S. On the other hand, in 2016, Nigeria exported uh, uh, worth about $50 million to the U.S., uh, cocoa beans, uh, cocoa paste and butter, shrimps, spices, tea, and others were uh, the major commodities. And what are the major issues with uh, businesses in Nigeria? Yes, um, Nigeria uh, continues to employ, employ um, you know, import substitution methods, despite uh, being a member of uh, the uh, WTO and uh, ECOWAS, uh, entities that promote uh, trade liberalization. Again, security challenges, you probably have heard about Boko Haram and the militancy in some parts of the south of Nigeria, uh, plus the negative perception in the US among the US trade uh, regarding Nigerian businesses. Despite these challenges, Nigeria remains Africa's largest policy and economic leader, and a key player in setting standards for agricultural trade policy in the region of West Africa. Nigeria is also the leading and fastest uh, okay, um, opportunities. Uh, increasing population, increasing urbanization, and growing income, rising middle class, continuing preference for US food and agricultural products in Nigeria. Um, Growing modern retail um, uh, operations, including ShopRite from South Africa, the Walmart uh, from the United States coming in through game, the game stores, Spa, and others. Also, a number of scores of our uh, international brands of fast food uh, you know, operations are also opening up um, uh, operations in Nigeria. The US. Um, USDM in Lagos covers uh, Nigeria, uh, Benin, and Cameroon. Uh, uh, mission, uh, mission at the end is to advance U.S. exports and agricultural com products and commodities to uh, these countries we cover, and also provide agricultural trade policy, technical cooperation, and capacity building activities. We also do reporting, market reporting, develop and support food aid implementation. Um, and recently, uh, sorry, the last three, four years, we've been supporting Nigeria in collaboration with 
organizations such as you said, the FAO, UNIDO, to develop a, a food safety system that can support Nigeria's uh, 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 domestic food processing and enhance its exports, to make it an active participant in Agua, help the country benefit in Agua. Concluding, sorry, I brought this. We encourage the U.S. agricultural and um, agricultural firms to you know, consider doing business in Nigeria and to do business with Nigerian firms, despite uh, the challenges aforementioned. Uh, they should consider that uh, Nigeria plays an important uh, strategic uh, position or role in, in Africa's food security. And they also should recognize that, you know, doing business in Nigeria, uh, though it's challenging, but as you enter um, and a business relationship there in yours, uh, this apprehension of entering the market will definitely uh, be overcome. Those who had entered are really um, testifying to this. And at USA Lagos, we are ready and uh, very willing to support your market entry uh, efforts. Um, sorry, I have to stop here. I thank you so much for listening. <laughs>